All right, guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to score against off-ball defense, a.k.a. CPU defense. Easy, all right? Now, this could work on current gen, next gen, mine team, playing online, whatever mode you play. This is a tip for y'all guys and y'all tired of guys off-balling and y'all don't know how to beat it. It's annoying and it's cheese. This is the video and I'm about to show y'all and I'm about to show y'all step by step how to beat these cheeses in off ball. It could be like, they could be competitive, they could be trash, it does not matter. This is a tip to show y'all. It's gonna take a lot of IQ to do this, all right? So I'm gonna show y'all step number one, step number two, three, and then probably the fourth one, I'm gonna show y'all a bonus tip how to do it, all right? So make sure y'all stay through the video and make sure y'all follow me on Twitch. I live stream every week. All right, so there's a link down in the description box. So I streamed it for now on. All right, so y'all want to see me play? This is it. All right, so I'm going to show y'all step by step, and let's get it on. All right, step number one. You got to use pick and roll or pick and fade. I'm going to tell you why. Because a lot of guys like the off ball, so you got to use pick and rolls as your advantage. All right, it depends what team you play with. So I'm going to show you how to attack the off baller. I want y'all to pay close attention to the video, how do I do this, all right? And remember, it takes IQ to do this. Now see, I'm calling for a pick and roll now. I'm gonna attack the rim. Now you see how he all born with Blake Griffin? He freeze right there, you see this? I got two options. I could drive to the rim or kick it to the corner for the three ball. And then I decided to take it easy too because nobody's there, even though he off balling. All right, this guy right here, he all balling with Bobby Porters. Of course, you're gonna all ball against Michael Jordan to go. So I'm gonna show you how to use a screen and get open. Now, watch this. Okay, now free. You see this guy? He switched to Bobby Porter's. Now, in this situation, you take it with the defense is giving you. So you gotta shoot it, all right? If you got the mid range jumper. Okay, another situation. He all balling with Jan. See, I, he plays far back because a lot of guys like to run run. But I'm not one of those guys. I'm a violence player. So I will shoot that and you give me that jump shot. Especially with Michael Jordan. He can't be serious, man. A lot of guys like to all ball with power forwards, shooting guards, point guards, and things like that. They like to be sneaky with it. So I'm going to show you how to score in this kind of way. All right? And this guy will all ball on the right side. Okay, I'm using Luka Doncic. See, I am used to screen with Paul Zingas. Now I kick it to Paul Zingas now. See, the guy is over in the corner and I took the green shot from the corner. See, that's all you got to do, guys. All right, step number two, you got to run plays. I'm going to tell you why. Because if you run plays, this is your advantage to expose the off ballers. Because you're not gonna always going to use pick and roll, so you got to mix it up a little bit. So you got to run plays. And, and be on the lab and work on some plays that you know for a fact that it's going to expose all ballers so that they can be frustrated and create the game. All right, so make sure you use plays. I'm going to show you a couple of examples what I did. Right now, I'm using two players to come off the floppy play, right? See, he got wild open because this guy wasn't guarding me. He was ball watching, so he don't have no idea what's going on. So he ain't know who to guard. You see you see how he's standing there? He don't know what's going on. He don't know who to guard on the floppy play that comes from the left or come to the right. So that play that nobody don't really uses that often. All right, there's another play you can use. Everybody know this one. It's called the quick four horn. That play been out since 2K18. So make sure you use that just in case guys is old dean with the all balling or C using CPU defense. So this right here will expose it. All right, guys, I'm gonna show y'all this play one more time. The W Punch 24 floppy. Now this guy right here, he's not guarding me at all. So watch, this guy looked in so confused. He don't know who to guard in the floppy, see? He closed me out. So I had the other guy, Chris Milton, and it was an over three, just like that. He was looking so lost. All right, there's another play I ran. It's called the W Punch 25 quick. Now, every time you play a game, you're always going to run up to these off ballers. Every time you play 2K. I don't know why, but it is what it is. They refuse to guard you. All right, step number three. You got to use your best player, especially for a best center. You got to exploit the matchup. For example, you got LaMarcus Aldridge guarding Kareem on dude Dubai. You already know you got to give it to Kareem because he's the best center in tier three. So you got to give him the ball, especially if guys is all balling way too much. Because what happens is they're going to all ball with the center. They would be ball watching. So matter of fact, you could work him too if you all ball with a center. So that could be an advantage. Now, if you're trying to use your best player like Kobe, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, if he's ball watching, you gotta expose the matchup as soon as possible. All right, guys? So I'm gonna show y'all some clips. 
So right now, I'm looking for Kareem Abdul to ball so he could expose the matchup. You see, he all balling with Lomarcus Aldridge, so you gotta give it to that match as soon as possible. You know that's easy bucket down there. But he could wait the double team, and I got an open mid range from Oscar Wobbs. Okay, guys, you see me posting up with Siaka. I got Trevor Reason on him. So right now, I'm posting up. It draws a double team, and I kick it to Kawhi Leonard for an open three. Because he's all balling against Siaka, because he know for a fact that it was an exploit matchup right there. And you see that nice jumper by Kawhi Leonard? Now you have Westbrook guarding against Kawhi Leonard. You gotta go with this matchup if a guy is all balling too heavy against you, all right? Okay guys, this is the next step I'm about to show y'all. This is gonna be a secret. I don't think nobody knows about this, so I'm about to show y'all right now. All right guys, this is the final tip and this is my bonus that I wanna show y'all. It's up to y'all, y'all wanna use this method. Now watch this, backdoor cuts. That's the only way you could be off ball too. Now, it's up to you, you wanna five out and do that, but make sure your center's out there. But whoever, whoever controlling the player for like, for example, say somebody controlling Angel Wiggins, right? What you do is, right, you press LB button, or on PlayStation, you press L1, and you press X. All you gotta do to tell him cut to the basket. This would be off ball 90% of the time because what's gonna happen is, right, the passing lane, they have to press X. There's no automatic steals no more. So you always gonna kill them with this play every time. Like for example, say he all ball with a center, right? You can make a center cut to the basket. I'm gonna show you. Cut to the basket, just like that, every time. So if, if the guy is all balling, make sure you hit him with a cut to the basket, AKA, Backdoor cut. So make sure you use that method as possible, right? Like I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna say it one more time. Say somebody controlling Clay Thompson right there, right? For example, you can make Devin Booker cut to the basket by going like this. Press L B, you press B, right? And then you cut to the basket and watch this. And you just do it like that. Simple. It's a lot of methods how you be all ball players. So that's my bonus tip. You can use it. Let me know, guys. Let me know how this works, please. In the comments, let me know.